Okay, we put Sparkle Motion as a coming soon, adafruit.com slash new. We put a rendering. I didn't get around to like taking a photo of the prototype ah. and some other stuff. So here it is. Just look at it. But um, we have a lot of videos in the top secret section. Sparkle Motion is a new board that you're going to like a lot. A lot of L WLED stuff and more. But let's go on to the new products. But it is in the new section. You can sign up for it. These will go fast. You'll get an email once we put them in stock. ETA is so about two weeks if things go well with manufacturing. All right. Okay. Um, first new product is um, the Feather RP2350, which you know and love, now comes with eight megabytes of PS RAM. Um, oh. So basically it's the same Feather as before, except instead of an empty slot where the PS RAM would go, we uh, soldered an AP6404. Um, it's a quad SPI PS RAM. What's really great is Arduino and CircuitPython both auto detect the chip oh. because we use the PS RAM. Um, chip select number eight, which is kind of the standard one that folks tend to use. And um, in CircuitPython, you suddenly get like eight megabytes of RAM that you can access. It's not as fast as the internal RAM, but you, it definitely works great. You can allocate into it. Arduino, you probably need to use, I think, the PS RAM allocator for the big buffers. Um, but it also works just, you know, FYI, it is not as fast as the internal memory. It's not magically mapped. Like you can't just contiguously use it, but you can use it within your C program or CircuitPython um, without any extra effort on your part. It's kind of built in. OK, next up, this is here now. OK, we have, we finally got the RP, sorry, the Raspberry Pi 500 starter kit. So if you like the Pi 400, but you want something with Pi 5 speeds, the Pi 500, which we've stocked as an individual computer, we just got some in stock. We also got in the kits. So it comes with uh, the micro SD card, the mouse, um, the powerful power supply and um, a HDMI cable, um, as well as a getting started guide book. So it's kind of like an all-in-one computer. You just add a monitor and use the Raspberry Pi monitor or any HDMI monitor you have kicking around. And you basically have a powerful computer ready to go um, for only like about 120 bucks. All right. And next up, we're excited about this because we're adding enclosures for many of our products. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, these are 3D printed, but they're resin printed, so they're really nice quality. Yes. Um, these are enclosures for our BQ25185 based charger boards. We're getting more of those chips, so if you're like, well, I can't get the board itself. Don't worry, by the time you watch this video on YouTube, we'll get them in stock. Probably. So this is for the boost converter version. Um, so it has slots for the USB, for the terminal blocks, and for the battery. Um, and it protects it nicely. You can like mount it easily and get access to that five volts out. Uh, so it's kind of a, it's just a little protector for the case. It's not waterproof or weatherproof, but if you're using it in a bigger project, um, you don't have to worry about it getting bumped. Um, and if you're doing it for like a wearable project okay. or if you want it in your bag, again, it, you know, just protects it a little bit. So that's for the five volt. We also have a version for the three volt buck converter. Um, so this one similar, you get access to the terminal blocks. The battery and the USB port just snap fits in. Um, very easy to protect this board if you're using it on the go. Next up. Next up, um, this is weird, but we did have a request for it. And it was very easy to make this person happy. So this is the inner clips of solderless breadboards. What are they used for? I mean, I guess people make DIY breadboards. I don't know. You get 10 strips. Each strip has um, 10 segments. Each segment has five contacts, you get 500 total contacts per order, and it's like only a couple bucks. Um, I don't know what people want to use for this for, but like, it's kind of neat. Note they're steel, so you can't solder to them. Um, maybe they're- Little maybe custom they're... breadboard things for like yeah, little breakout think... areas on a toy or a product. I don't know. Yeah, little... you'll have to clip it in, you know, you'll have to have a, a spot that these clip into, but I, you know, I thought it was an easy yeah. thing to carry, and like maybe somebody will do something interesting, so I thought, why not? Next up. Okay, next up we have another cute uh, custom COB, the yeah, chip like on board, uh, LED. This one has uh, a little lightning bolt chip. Oh, if cute. you're the Flash, you could get this for your home. Oh, yeah. And you could be figurine. like, but don't don't use a real name. Yeah, Very don't tell people now. Um, um, so it, it basically acts like a three volt LED, but it draws like about like 60 to 80 milliamps. It's in the specs of the... Um, display. You can PWM it like an LED. 
Um, it's used for like novelty bulbs, but there's probably other fun projects that you could use this for. Okay. And uh, we have a whole other bunch of shapes and more. We're going to be adding letters and you, you name it. We're going to have these. These are, these are neat. People like them. So we're going to keep adding more. Yes. To start the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, the community, everyone who shares and uh, all the folks that are trying to save others. Because boy, there's a lot of stuff going on around the world and some people are out there doing their best to, to keep people safe. So thank you on that. But uh, the new product introduction that we have this week is? The TMC2209 Breakout. This was uh, in big, uh, big request because we had the Allegro A4988 and everyone's like, well, what about the Trinamics? What about the Trinamics? Like, okay, yeah, we have the Trinamics now. Okay, we got one. So this is the first one. There's gonna be more, don't worry, but we're gonna start with the TMC2209, which I really like. It's inexpensive. Um, it's about the same package as the A4988. So this breakout board is kind of pin compatible. Um, this is not one of the like breakouts that you use with a 3D printer. This is meant for people who want to breadboard and use it independently. Um, it's bigger, it has terminal blocks. So it's really easy to use. It has LEDs to tell you when you're, you know, you can even see the LEDs blinking here Perfect. for forward and back. Perfect. And when it's stepping, um, there's a nice potentiometer. You twist to the right to increase the current. Um, there's current limiting. Um, it has the same step and direction. So, you know, by default, you can just hold the direction pin high or low and then toggle the step pin and it will step. Uh, it also has the ability to change from eight times one eighth micro stepping to one sixteenth, one thirty second, and one sixty fourth. Um, if you use the UART interface, you can actually set it up to one uh, two fifty six micro steps, which is like crazy amount of micro steps. Um, this is one of the things I really like about this chip is it has a UART interface. So you can set commands to configure it or set the velocity um, or to set the current limiting all through this digital interface. So it has both this standalone pin control for like, I just want to get going quickly, but for more advanced usage, there's um, the UR. It also has this thing called stall guard, which is kind of neat. So if the stepper motor stalls, it can toggle a pin to let you know. You can figure that over the UR. And what this is used for is a sensorless stop detection. So you can tell when you hit the end of like a bar, you know, because it's like you, you have to... Oh, stall guard. Stall guard. Oh, I thought it was like one word, like a Dune character or something. It is. Like, yeah. It's like stall guard, yes. <laughs> I was like, that's well, it. No, like, it's stall guard, so it stops it from stalling. But ah. ironically, it is a little bit like stall guard because you have to go very slowly ah. in order to detect because the slow stepper... Ah. The slow stepper moves the... Moves the, the stepper yeah. detection. Okay, but you can detect when the stepper has hit the stop without a separate switch. Or you can use a switch, but then this is like your backup detection. So you don't end up slamming and pushing into the end of the bar for your that stepper motor. Sense. So you know it's, it's stalled. This is cool. Yeah, it's very, a very powerful chip. It can do up to two amp um, current limiting. If you're getting into the two amp um, range, you might have to put a heat sink on top or air cool it. Um, it can do what, five volts up to 20, nine volts DC yeah. for your stepper motor, big range. Sinks, little heat yeah, you can put a little heat sink on, not included, but we, we yeah. stock them, they're very inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, if you want to toss a heat sink, we have a big capacitor on there. Powerful. Um, really, yeah, a really nice, up and honestly, between this and the A4988, you don't really need any other stepper motor uh, drivers. Oh, also, it's ultra quiet. Sorry, that's the big deal about it. Um, it really is, it's super silent, um, because they use like the spread spectrum technique for the micro stepping, it doesn't have that annoying like, sound um super silent you know you're right because in control. the past when you've tested when you've been doing stuff it was it's been loud and we had we had yeah. and yeah when we had a little kid you know baby we had to make sure we didn't do it when she was trying so to this is a nice epic but it's only a couple bucks more than yeah. the a4980 okay. anyways i'm playing with it i'm also writing a library for that your interface so you can use it with you know python or, or arduino right now um there's other libraries if you step direction mode again okay um anyways i really i really love this this is a very very nice upgrade good work uh, chip. Cool. Yeah. Nice stepper. That is New Parks of the Week. This week.